The age-old question, weights or cardio? Which is better? Before I go on, I wanna know in your opinion, which one is better? Is it weights or is it cardio? Put that in the comments, weights or cardio? Which one is better? In my opinion, the short answer, none. <laughs> but if I had to choose one, honestly, I would choose weights. But I'm not talking about lifting heavy weights, sitting there in front of the mirror, taking a two to three minute break, checking my phone, having my hoodie on, drinking my protein shake. I'm talking about doing circuits involving weights. I'm talking about combining hit with strength. Now let's define what each type of training is to me. Like I said, with the weights, when you think of typical weights, you think of the meatheads with their hoodies and their headphones, and they're lifting heavy things. Cardio, we often think of the chicks in their Lululemons with their sports bras running on the treadmill or the stepper machine, right? We're talking about these big box gyms where everybody goes in and just does the same thing. I don't know if anybody actually really likes that. I'm sure you do. It's just not for me. And that's not the type of training that I would wanna do. Now, if you're really trying to be fit into your 40s and beyond, you have to attack all training styles. I'm not saying that if you just did weights and if you just did cardio that you're not in shape. You're just not in the type of conditioning that I personally would want going into my 40s and beyond because I wanna be able to stay active, I wanna be able to compete, I wanna look the part that I'm actually working out, but I also wanna be able to lift the part of me working out. So it starts with plyos. Now the first thing that you lose if you stop training is your explosive power. Now this is probably above the scope of people that are watching this video, but anybody that was a former athlete or anybody that's looking to take their fitness to the next level, we have to train that explosive power. And that's why you see a lot of former athletes that get back into sports after a time off. So this could be like your rec athlete, like maybe your husband who decides that, hey, they're gonna pick up pickleball and they haven't played any sports or they try to go back to hockey and why they're extremely sore, they hurt their back or their knee or their calf or whatever it is, the body just loses its elasticity and it loses that nerve conduction that they used to have and it loses the ability to function like it used to. So when it comes to training, before you jump back on the ice or before you take up pickleball, maybe you should start with doing some types of plows. This might not apply to you, but it could apply to your husband, so maybe you can pass on the information. But even you, that if you're training and you're a female and you're looking to be fit past 40, you wanna be able to retain a lot of that explosive power. In fact, by training and doing box jumps or jump squats or jump lunges or anything in that nature or, or even just ladders as quickly as possible, you're actually going to train a different part of muscle that requires a lot more energy for a short burst and it's also gonna create a whole new level of definition that you never had. If you look at an athlete's legs or an athlete's abs, their legs are crazy, their arms are crazy depending on the sport that they do. And why is it? Because they're training into that explosive power range. So there's no reason reason why you shouldn't, you're just obviously not gonna do the same volume that they would. So number one is that you need to start with that plyometric aspect. Number two is that you need to train in short burst endurance. Now I think going for long runs, I think there's a lot of benefits to your cardiovascular component, you know, but running is a sport, so the more running that you do, the better conditioning you get. It creates a a deficit in your body. And a lot of you that took up running, started the summer, you're probably burning a ton of calories and you notice now that you're not. Your body gets conditioned to it. So you'd either need to go further or you need to go faster. So for the everyday person that's looking to get fit into their 40s and they're maybe looking to lose some weight and shred some fat, then I would tell you that you need to train in timed intervals. And this is why at Fit Club, we generally train for 30 seconds on and anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds off. So it's short burst endurance. You don't have to go for a long five mile run to obtain endurance. In fact, I don't do any of that. And I can play tennis for an hour, two hours, whatever it takes, I still have that endurance. And most of you, and we've seen it where we've done these mud runs with our clients, where all they do is Fit Club workouts and they never run but yet they're able to do these fun runs and they're able to do them in decent times. And that's because we're training in these short bursts endurance. And when you train with this, you're not only adding cardio to your body, but you're also building muscle because you're moving a lot faster and you're moving through a lot more resistance. So you're building muscle and building endurance while you do these short bursts endurance training. Number three is strength training. 
Now, I want you to still train like the meatheads because I do believe that there's a lot of value in just isolating muscle groups and just kind of like forming the meat. Like if you're trying to get bigger chest, trying to get the biceps, or you're trying to get nice thighs or a nice ass, I think that there's a lot of benefits to just isolating those muscle groups. But what you need to do is what we do at Fit Club where we combine them into circuits but most importantly, don't just do a leg day because if you haven't done a leg day ever, your body is gonna be extremely sore. You need to train in a full body approach, okay? So if you can train as many muscle groups in the shortest period of time by doing short bursts and doing some plows and doing some strength training, then you're going to see a lot more muscular development. You're gonna burn a lot more calories in a shorter period of time and you're also going to see more results in half the time than you would if you just did typical strength training. So when it comes to doing the weights, I would tell you that you still wanna include the ISOs, but you want to train smarter and more functional muscles. So if you can do something like a squat with the shoulder press, then that's gonna give you a lot more benefits than just doing the shoulder press by itself and resting, and then doing the squats by itself, then resting. So there we have it guys, this is just a short breakdown of training, but the key takeaway here is that you need to train smarter, not harder, and that you need to maximize your time and age like an athlete. Because if you do this, not only will you look better into your 40s and beyond, but you're also going to feel better and you're gonna be able to take care of yourself longer and you're gonna be able to function like an athlete for the rest of your life.